it doesn't, as far as action is concerned, doesn't work like that. Action can come from all, all these different states that arise. So if you're asking who's doing the action, who's doing it, the answer is nobody was doing it in the first place, and no one continues to do it. There isn't, a per, there isn't anybody at the controls. Right? There's just one thing causing another, causing another, causing another. There never was a, there was, never was a controller. Do you see that feeling like when you're sitting here, there's like a feeling like there's a me in here? Like there's me, there's one separate person sitting on this chair. As you make your way through the Vipassana insights, that feeling of a me inside, it's gone sometimes, it disappears sometimes, comes back, disappears. And then one day with enlightenment, it just completely disappears. There isn't that feeling of a separate person anymore. And so yeah, action never had a person doing it. It had defilement doing it or impurity doing it. And when there's mindfulness or wholesomeness, then it might have beautiful states doing it too. But it doesn't have a person doing it. Never does. Never has. Never a person doing it. Just cause and effect. Just the movement of whatever. The movement of nature. The movement of cause and effect doing it. And so one moment there's lost in thought. The next moment there's you know, enlightened. The next moment there's uncomfortable. The next moment like that. But it feels like there's a me going from one moment to the next. That's just a feeling that there's a me going from one moment to the next. That's just a thought that is like an umbrella thought. Like we feel like there is, and then we just sort of put this umbrella over all the phenomena and call them, call them my actions, call them my phenomena. But that doesn't 